Welcome to Kids Church Online, where we do church together as a family. And Merry Christmas! Oh, that's right. La, it is la, Christmas. La, 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 la. That's the one that Ruth and Vanessa sang. It's uh, beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Yes, that's the one. And it is looking like Christmas. So what do we have going on for Kids Church Online at Christmas? Well, it is going to be a little bit different for Christmas, but we are going to be continuing our Christmas series, of course. Of course, because it's Christmas. And today we'll be hearing about the wise men as we follow the famous artist Brocardo da Vinci as he learns the many ways that God speaks. And I know what else, we also have prayer. And memory verse. And of course, some, some silly stuff. stuff. Enjoy. Enjoy. I see you've stopped at this beautiful work of art. Yes. Oh, well, let the painting speak to you. What does it tell you? Well... Uh... No, no, no. Let it speak to you deep in the heart. What does it tell you? Do you hear it? Eh? Eh? I... Uh... Oh, shh, 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 shh. I said, let it speak to you. What does it tell you? Well, does it tell you something or not? I work hard on this painting and you just stand there and tell me nothing. I poured my heart into that work of art just to hear the crickets, no? Well, I was just taking it all in. Ah, yes, yes, take it all in. There's so much there to take all in at once. It may be hard, but you should try. What do you feel it speaks to you deep inside? Try to put it into words. <laughs> Well, it's a dot. Yes, yes, and? It's a small dot. Go deeper, deeper into your heart. What does it say to you? Uh, well, it tells me about someone who puts their whole heart into putting even a small dot. And, and someone who who wants others to put their whole heart into listening and seeing even a small dot. It reminds me of the saying, stop and smell the roses. Ah, c'est formidable! How you have captured so much of what I was trying to say through my painting. This is the great Riccardo da Vinci. I didn't really understand the painting to begin with. However, once you know the artist, oh, it becomes quite obvious. When you get to know Riccardo da Vinci, you can tell more and more what he's trying to say through his paintings. Hey, what are you saying over there? Oh, I was just saying that as we get to know the artist, we come to know more and more what you're trying to say through your painting. Oh, bien sûr, c'est fabuleux! Yes, well, did you know that God is an artist too? C'est merveilleux! I am an artist and all this time God is an artist too? I have never thought about this before. This is so special. I think I want to paint something now to express my deep feelings inside, to share a passion like this with God. Je suis émouvé. God is the creator of the universe. He makes the grand planets, the stars, and all so amazing. He is an artist. Oh, he is the ultimate artist. And for every artist, every brush stroke of a paintbrush is speaking something 
to those who will stop and look and listen to what we are saying. Well, I wonder what God is saying through all of his amazing creation. Oh! Oh! In the big, big universe, God shows us how big and in control and powerful he is. Yes, and in the tiniest microscopic cells, we see that he cares about the smallest details about us. Oh, you are a good listener. Did you know that God speaks to us in all sorts of ways? Oh, more than just creation? Ah, through the Bible, of course! <laughs> yes, and this is the most important way that God speaks to us. However, He does speak to us through many different ways. Oh, this is a wonder, no? And today's Bible story is about some of the ways that God spoke to His people. Oh, I'm excited about this! Hey, what does my painting speak to you? It shows me that the artist was full of excitement and wonder. Oh, I am such a good artist to be able to speak my message on the canvas like that. Ah, you're good at listening and seeing too. And you explain things well too. Hey, maybe you can be an artist too. When we come back, I will teach you to paint so that you can be like a Bracardo. It's time for Pray and Do. Can you guess who is going to lead us in prayer today? Today we have the Brayski family. Hello, Brayski! Yeah. Yeah. This was the best day ever! Yes, gifts are great. And the best gift is God's message of love to us through a baby who came and grew up and gave his life for us. How does God speak to you? God speaks his message of love to me even when I'm all cozy in bed. I just know he's with me. God speaks his message of love to me through hugs. God speaks his message of love to me through Kidrick Online. Oh, me too. One of the ways that God speaks to me and to all of us is through his word. That's why I love to memorize Bible verses. Do you guys remember the verses that we've been working on the last few weeks? Yeah! Where is it from? Deuteronomy 6. Why don't we say it together and you at home can say it along with us. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. And, and with, with all, all your soul. And with all your strength. Deuteronomy 6 verse 5. Let's say it all together again. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart and all your soul and all of your strength. Deuteronomy 6 verse 5. God loves to speak to us through his word and many other ways when we take the time to watch and listen. He loves us so much and he loves to tell us again and again and again and again and again. Let's thank Jesus for all the ways that he speaks to us. You guys can repeat after me. Thank you, Jesus, for speaking to us. Thank, Thank you, Jesus, Jesus, for speaking to us. In so many ways. In so many ways. Most of all, Jesus. Most of all, Jesus. We thank you for coming to earth. We thank you for coming to earth. Born in a manger. Born in a manger. You lived and died for me. You lived and died for me. Because you love me. Because you love me. And that's the best message of all. And that's the best message of all. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Thanks for praying with us. us! You teach me that God speaks through His creation and through many other ways. Maybe you can say this through a painting. Oh, well. How about, while I try this, um, we'll have a cartoon tell us the Bible story. See if you can find four different ways that God spoke to his people through this Bible story. Shh, it's time to listen. Stories of the Bible. Jesus and the wise men. This is Jesus. Jesus is the Son of God who would grow up to do amazing things. 
his parents on Earth were Mary Hi. and Joseph. Hey Jesus was born in a barn because there was no room for him anywhere else in Bethlehem. Bethlehem was part of Judea, an area that was ruled by a king named Herod. King Herod was in Jerusalem when some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, Excuse me. Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose and we have come to worship him. When Herod heard that there was another king born in Judea, he was very upset, ah. as was everyone else in Jerusalem. Yeah. Not you. So Herod called all the important priests and Jews together and asked them where this king was supposed to be born. The Jews knew that their king would eventually come and was always told to them that the king of the Jews, the savior of the world, would be born in Bethlehem. So they told that to King Herod. Then King Herod thought of a way to trick the wise men. Aha. So he called a private meeting with them and learned from them when the king of the Jews' star first appeared. Oh God! And then King Herod told the wise men, go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him too. Eh, uh, okay. Hey, on your way. But secretly, Herod wanted to know where the king of the Jews was so he could get rid of him. So the wise men went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where Jesus was, and the wise men were filled with joy. Woohoo! They went into the house and saw Mary and Jesus. Hello! Oh, look! Wow! And they bowed down and worshipped Jesus. Wait! They gave him special gifts fit for the king that he was, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then God warned them in a dream to not go home through Jerusalem, where King Herod was, but God told them to go home a different way. So they did. And then an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up! The angel told Joseph to go to Egypt with Mary and Jesus because Herod was looking to kill Jesus. That very night, Joseph left for Egypt with Jesus and Mary. They stayed in Egypt until Herod was gone and it was safe for them to go home to Israel. <laughs> when they returned, an angel warned them about the new ruler of Judea, who was Herod's son. This way. So Joseph and his family went to the region of Galilee and found their new home in the town of Nazareth. Look good? Yep. We're taking where Jesus would grow up and eventually do all the amazing things God had planned for him to do. Did you find four different ways that God spoke to people in our Bible story? Number one, a star told wise men where to go. Number two, God's word told them the Savior would be born in Bethlehem. Number three, a dream to wise men. Number four, an angel appeared to Joseph. How many ways did you get? Très magnifique! Hey, does God still speak through stars, dreams, angels? Yes, however, the way he speaks most is through his word, the Bible. Are there other ways God speaks? Oh, yes, so many. He speaks to us through other people, through songs, through things that happen in our lives, or even straight to our hearts. God is truly an artist who speaks in so many ways. Hey, how is your painting coming along? Oh, would you like to see? Oh, oui, oui. Let it speak to you deep inside. I hope you will hear the message very clearly. I will look and listen from deep in my heart. <sighs> Très bien! Look at how the colors flow together and collide at colossal points to give a variety and splash of 
invitation and artistry. And then, the way you put the strokes together, it's like a massage within a massage. Oh, my mind is blowing with the creativity and the heart just in this painting. You need to just look. I don't think you're getting the message. But I am an artist, Riccardo da Vinci. I hear with my heart. You just need to read it plain and clear. <laughs> read it? <laughs> it says, God speaks in all sorts of ways. That is what I was saying. And God doesn't hide his message either. He shows his love and power through all creation, through his word, through people, in dreams, in all sorts of ways, over and over and over and over. And his message is Jesus. Jesus was born and lived and died and rose again to be our savior. So we want to stop to listen and see his message repeated to us again and again. Oh, c'est spectaculaire! Ricardo, could I paint one more picture for you, please? Oh, oui, oui, oui. How could I say no after you come into my artist symposium and you teach me such an important lesson about God and his attributes and how he is an artist and he speaks to us in so many ways, mostly the Bible, but in so many ways. Please, please, ma'am, be my guest. Paint me something magnifique. And here it is! What? Three simple letters, yet so complex in the angles and texture and the flow of the paint strokes. Ma'am, I am truly stumped as to what you are trying to say through this magnifique painting. Shh. I believe the families will know what the message is saying. Families, do you know what's next? A. O. K. It's Christmas! Yeah! Guys, let's go on a Christmas adventure! Ooh, are we going to bake some cookies? Hang up decorations? Go shopping? Christmas caroling! Family gathering? Do some homework? Homework? Uh, well, I couldn't think of any other Christmas things. <laughs> well, actually, none of those things. Yes, especially not the homework on Christmas Day. Right. Instead, we're going to send one family a very special Christmas gift. <laughs> what should we send them? Some cookies? Some Christmas music? A new car? A DX10 Milan Modern Relax Lounger 22 chair? Some homework? Homework? Uh, I couldn't think of any other cool gifts to send. Uh, well, actually none of those. Well, especially not sending homework as Christmas present. Right. Instead, we're going to wrap up Alejandro and send him as a gift to them and he can spend the day with them. <gasps> oh, this is going to be so much fun. I'm going to make some new friends. Oh, they're going to love this. Okay, first we need to wrap you up. Wrap me up and call me Christmas! <laughs> Easy does it now. Fragile package. Christmas! Yeah! Oh, the kids are gonna have fun! Merry Christmas!
late for your dinner today. Well, this is my Christmas dinner, so I would like uh, seven burgers, 14, 14 salads, and lots of sticks of celery. Uh, <laughs> we only have one patty left. I'll take it! It's a great restaurant. Hey, what is that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> mm, mustard on everything, please. Yum, and my cake. Cheers! Yeah. I, I think I'm very stylish. Breathe. Hey, no peeking, no peeking! <laughs> Here we go. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. There you go. fun to get presents and fun to give presents, but it's super fun to be the present too. Oh yeah, that was a fun adventure for you and for the family too. It sure is a Merry Christmas! Oh, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas everybody! everybody. <laughs> wow, ma'am, that A-OK -okay was truly a form of art, no? Well, you could call it that. Would you be so kind as to let me display these in my artist symposium? Oh, that would be lovely. What an honor, an honor. I would also love to purchase one of your beautiful paintings. Oh my, well, tu me fais rougir. Which one speaks to your heart and catches your eye? Well, this one was the one that first caught my eye. Oh, this one I call Christmas Day in the morning. Do you have an offer for me? Oh, well, would this be enough? Ça va suffire. Thank you very kindly, ma'am. Thank you. Well, I thank you. This is beautiful. Oh, and I will display this here to remind me that God is an artist who speaks to us in so many creative ways, mainly through his word but in so many other ways too, as long as we are listening with our eyes and the ears of our hearts. Thanks for joining us at KCO. Hope you had fun. Fun with our Christmas series learning about the many ways that God speaks to us. Like through his word. A star. Dreams. Angels. Through other people. Even right in our hearts. Through his word. Oh, you said that one already. Yes, I know I said that one already, but God speaks to us through his word most of all. All right. Well, from all of us at KCO, we hope that you have a wonderful Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, we'll be back again next week with more on Kids, Kids Church, Church Online. Online. C'est merveilleux! C'est merveilleux. 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 Do you want to buy a Merveilleux. Merveilleux. Yes. Okay. Oh, c'est merveilleux! Merveilleux. Merveilleux. Oh, c'est merveilleux! Oh! 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 It's too much. Go away! Read some books! Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! Yes! Ha ha! Ha ha! Hi, welcome! We will be part of the L.O.K.K. Yeah! Homework? Homework? Sound like a troll. Homework? Homework?